You know something interesting, as fish keepers, we spend a ton of money on a glass box and then we spend a ridiculous amount of money to get the best heater, the best filter, the best lights, lids. Then we go and we spend a bunch of money on substrate and plants and we get this thing looking absolutely incredible. We're so happy with it. And then we realize, oh crap, we've spent all the money. There's no more money left for fish. So what do we do? do? Do we just wait, save our money and get the fish later? Or are we people that are not patient enough to do that and we want fish right now so we have to buy fish that are inexpensive and very budget friendly? Well that, my friends, is what this video is for. We're going to show you a whole assortment of fish that are what we consider to be the best fish to buy if you're on a budget. Think about this for a second. If I was to tell you, you could go to the fish store, buy an absolutely incredible fish with a great personality. You only spend about 10 cents a piece for these fish. And you have the bonus of knowing that you are saving those fish from a certain death. Would that be something that would pique your interest? Well, what I just described is feeder goldfish. Yes, those feeder goldfish. The ones whose sole purpose is to feed some loser's jaguar cichlid. Look at them. Look how nice they are. Look how colorful and active they are. I don't remember the last time I checked the price of feeder goldfish, but they've always been around 10 to 15 cents each. So just think about it. You get 10 of these gorgeous fish and you're only out a dollar or a dollar 50. Now it has to be said that you're not gonna want to get these fish if you're setting up a 20 gallon aquarium. And that's why this fits this conversation even more because if you've set up the appropriate size tank for them, which would be like 150 gallon, let's say, cause these fish can get absolutely massive. You have spent a fortune on getting that tank set up. So it's a very good chance you ain't gonna have a whole lot of money left for fish. Goldfish are easy to keep, easy to feed, won't bother any other fish once you can afford to get them tank mates, and they behave like little water puppies. What more do you want? Plus, like I said, you have the satisfaction of knowing these fish were destined to be food and you saved them. How many stories do you see online of people rescuing betas from the store or rescuing a fish that was looking sad at the store? This situation is a real rescue. I know I go a little overboard with my love of feeder fish, but I have 30 or 31 of these fish right now in my collection, and they've become some of my absolute favorites. 24 or 25 of them actually escaped death twice. They started out as feeder fish. They were put in a pond. That pond then was unfortunately abandoned, and I rescued them a second time from there and put them into my pond where they are now thriving and just absolutely love their life. Just trust me when I tell you, it's a special thing when you can save these fish from being in the belly of some big ugly cichlid. Guppies are great for someone setting up a tank on a budget, but not for the reasons you think. Yeah, they're gorgeous fish and they're cheap, but there's another angle. The angle is this, you can buy a trio of guppies at anywhere from $4 to $8 a piece, but it's not gonna stay this way for long cause, well, have you ever heard the expression, they breed like rabbits? We've all heard that, right? Well, that expression is wrong. It should be, they breed like guppies. I've talked about this in previous videos, but I'm gonna talk about it again because it goes along with the topic perfectly. Last summer, I got two female guppies from Diana Walstead, and these girls were nice and fat. Before you knew it, they started popping out babies, then popped out some more, then their babies grew up and started having babies of their own, and in what felt like no time at all, I was completely overrun with these fish. I swear, I've got like a thousand, million, zillion of them. Now, not every guppy tank is gonna be like that, but if you get a male and two females, they're gonna breed and breed and breed, and before you know it, those three fish you bought for maybe $20 are now 40. How's that for cheap? 
And to take it a step further, you might even be able to sell the babies of those three fish. You could make a few dollars to help you out in the hobby. So there's no better example of a budget fish than guppies. When I put together this list of fish and showed it to Lisa for the first time, she said, neon tetras, what the? And I had to remind her of all the times we've been to big box pet stores that have been selling them on sale for a dollar a piece. In fact, this was happening so often back in the day, way back in the day, that we just called them $1 fish because they seemed like they were always on sale. Sure, it's possible that it was just my area, but I saw this in quite a few stores. I don't know. Maybe the farms were completely overrun with them back then. But whether they're on sale or not, this is usually a fish that's no more than $3 a piece. So even at full price, you're still getting a bargain on some really cute, super active fish that can fit in pretty much any size aquarium. I think every fish keeper at some point in their fish keeping journey has had neon tetras. If you haven't, you're missing out because these are some absolutely adorable, cute little, super cheap fish. So give them a try. White clouds are definitely one of those fish on the list that are indestructible. They're super cute and they're just adorable little fish. And to make it even better, you can get them for like $2. I've kept white cloud minnows in everything from 125 gallon with comet goldfish to 100 gallon tubs outdoors. And they've not only done well, but they've also multiplied. When I had them in the tub outdoors, all I had on it was a stupid little fountain that ran off solar power and they didn't care. In fact, they loved it. Now, some people might get mad at me for saying this, but white cloud minnows aren't exactly the most gorgeous fish on this list, but you know what? I think they're kind of cute. They're just plain and that's okay. They're cheap. Platties, a fish that veteran fish keepers are gonna poo-poo saying, oh, those are just for beginners. But I gotta tell you, this fish is available in more varieties than any other fish we've talked about today. Okay, yeah, there's tons of different types of guppies too, but a lot of times when we get into those really fancy exotic guppies, you're gonna be spending big time money on those fish. Platties, no. You want Mickey Mouse platties, $3 a piece. Fancy blue platies, $3 a piece. The nice, pretty yellow ones, $3 a piece. You get it. There's another thing too. Remember what Lisa said about guppies and how they'll easily multiply and your three fish turned into tons and tons of free fish? Well, platies are the same way, but again, you'll pay way less for them to get you started. You start off with five of these that you paid a total of $15 for, and before you know it, you got a couple dozen in there, and they'll all be different colors of the rainbow, or even have little Mickey Mouse ears on their anal foot. There's another thing to think about here too, and that's the fun you'll have breeding these fish, because you literally don't have to do anything. Just put them in the water, and they're gonna start pooping out babies. It's like magic. Plus, they're a really hardy fish too, so if you're just getting started in this hobby, they're gonna be able to tolerate a lot of the mistakes that new fish keepers get. So, you're gonna have so much fun. You're gonna feel like a pro because these fish are breeding like crazy. They're absolutely gorgeous, and you haven't spent much money. I'm just gonna start this one off by saying that I know shrimp are not fish. I remember when John and I were walking around the aquatic experience with Chris Lukup and he was showing us all these shrimp. He was like, that one is $2,000. That one is $5,000. And they were gorgeous, gorgeous shrimp. But these are not the ones we're talking about. Like, no, these, these are like, everyone is like, uh, it, they have been like five, 6,000. So I don't know what price he makes here, but one of it, he, I know that Skyfish sold them for five to $6,000 each. No, it was euros, so it's even more in dollars. No, for this video, we'll be talking about shrimp that are great for fish keepers that are new to shrimp, like cherry shrimp and blue dreams. 
two of my personal favorites. I can remember when I used to think, what's the big deal with shrimp? Everyone talks about them like they're the best thing ever. I don't get it. Well, believe me, I get it now. I've gone shrimp crazy. When I set up this bowl with Diana Wallstead, I needed something to put in it, so I went to thegardenofeater.com and ordered some Blue Dreams, and I went to flipaquatics.com to get some cherries. I could have got them both from either one of the sites, but we're friends with both of them and I wanted to spread the love around. And before you ask, no, they did not give me the shrimp for free or anything like that just because we're friends. I secretly went in, I ordered, and they sent them to me. I put the Blue Dreams in Diana's bowl and spread the cherry shrimp out in four to five tanks, including John's Izzy tank. I put six cherries in his tank and look at them now. They're everywhere. These are absolutely fascinating little creatures and it's so cute to watch them with their little legs and doing their thing and eating all the stuff in the tank. It's just adorable. And they don't cost a fortune. I got mine for like three or four dollars a piece and yeah, that might not be the most cheapest thing on this list, but you know, the cherries are breeding like crazy and now the blue dreams are also breeding. So I feel like I got my money back plus a whole lot more. I feel like every fish list we do, I'm talking about Daniels. Am I becoming a Daniel guy? Okay, maybe I am. And you know what? I'm okay with that because Daniels are one of the most fascinating fish in the hobby. For this video, since it's about cheap fish, we're gonna talk specifically about zebra Daniels because you can find these pretty much anywhere for under $3 each. I've said it a million times, but I'm gonna say it again. Daniels are just fun. They're completely hyperactive little fish that never stop moving. It doesn't matter if it's pitch black dark or the lights are at full brightness, these fish never rest. I honestly think it's what makes me love them so much, because think about it. Daniels are nice looking fish, but they're certainly not in the conversation of the most beautiful fish in the hobby. Wait a minute, did I just come up with a future video topic? Okay, here's what I want you to do. Go down in the comment section below, type out your list of the fish that you think are the most beautiful fish in the hobby. If I get a good enough response to this, maybe I'll do a video about it. And don't worry, if I use your suggestions, I'll make sure I credit you in the video. Anyway, Zebra Daniels are really cool, really fast, really easy to keep fish that are also really cheap. If you want a tank that's an instant cure for boredom, fill it full of cheap Daniels, and you'll be all set. So there you go. Did you like our list of fish that are budget friendly and you wanna see three more budget friendly fish? Well, click the join button down below, become a channel member, and every single Sunday, you're gonna get bonus items from our Sunday videos. And hey, listen, if you don't wanna fool with that, but you still wanna support the channel, you can definitely do that by just subscribing. We're so close to 500,000, it would mean a lot to us to get to that 500,000 subscriber mark. I don't know why it's a big deal, it just is. And hey, if you wanna take your support to the next level, why don't you go to our website, keepfishkeeping.com, buy up all of the things that you're gonna be buying anyway. You might as well buy them from us, right? Makes you feel good, we'll send, send it all right out to you, it won't take any time at all. I don't know, those are some interesting ways if you'd like to support the channel, whether it be for free or anything else, We'll definitely take care of you, and I promise you, we'll definitely appreciate it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our list. We can't wait to see you again next week. See ya.